Welcome back to Elkanon Breaks. I am your host, Elkanon. Today we are going to be doing a PSA unboxing. This is a 17 card PSA baseball submission that I did. Uh, this was sent in back in July, beginning of July sometime. I just got it back today. Pretty excited about this box. We'll see what's inside it. I don't even remember all the cards that I sent in, but 17 cards. Uh, I know that it was a higher end submission because it didn't go into a bulk, so uh, these cards are probably going to be more than $100 per card. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. Let's get cracking on this thing and see what we got in here. <clears throat> don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Oh my goodness, I almost just cut myself. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you know when I put a new video out. I'm trying to put videos out daily. Yesterday I apologize, I could not. I uh, have some new streaming software and when I went to record, I had accidentally, uh, well I didn't realize that there was an audio overlay on it. And the audio overlay kept saying that uh, this is a trial, this is a trial. And so I had to actually purchase the audio to get it to work correctly. So let's pull the entire thing out. Hopefully we can have it upside, yeah, this looks like it's upside down here. So pull this out. Don't wanna share all my personal information with you on there. Okay, well, we're gonna see the backs of some of these and uh, that's okay. I'm gonna get me a little protector. What am I gonna use to protect these? So I'll cover it so you can't see. That works. We have a little uh, <clears throat> champions or hidden fates sleeve. We'll put that over each card so you're not going to be able to see what it is. So let me go ahead and lift this one. Let me put that underneath there. And we'll flip this. This is a bazooka back. So we have a bazooka back. So this is probably from, what was it, Gypsy Queen that did bazooka backs? This is number 300 of 320. Can you guess the player? Guess that player. Let's check it out. See what we got here. Oh, that is going to be a Mike Trout <laughs> Gem Mint 10 Bazooka Back from 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen. How about that? What a card. <laughs> a 10 already, man. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I did nick myself when I did that. <clears throat> Not ideal at all. All right, so our first one is a Gem Mint 10. Uh, didn't even realize I had this card when I was going through it. I had to go back through and find the card uh, after I found out that there were these bazooka backs that I may have missed. Um, you know, you open cards and you don't really look at the backs very uh, closely, especially with Gypsy Queen. And then I was like, I may have missed some bazooka backs. So I went back through, found that one. I was like, I got to submit it. Looked really nice. Came back at Gem Mint 10. All right, card number two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's going to be a Juan Soto Topps Chrome Rookie from 2018 Topps Update. PSA 9. We'll put the 9s on the left, the 10s on the right. So PSA 9, not the greatest uh, return, but this isn't uh, my card specifically. This card is actually a buddy of mine. Let's see, that's got some dust on the cover already. Maybe that's a nick on the actual card. There's like dust inside the cover. I don't ever remember those nicks being there when I sent it in. One right there as well. So I'm not sure if that's dust inside the card or actually part of the uh, issue of why it got a nine. The surface doesn't look all that great. That definitely looks like a smudge on the surface right there. All right, so a nine right there. Not the greatest, not bad. I'll take nines and tens all day. Uh, it's them eights and lower that I don't like. So let's let's avoid those at all costs. All right, let's go ahead and put this on our next card. This is going to be a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. from Series 2. Missing card number. Missing card number, Vladdy. Mint 9. Mint 9. I wonder why that got a 9. Let me look at it real closely here. No clue, it's probably pop control. So PSA does population control. They don't want you to get uh, too many tens for something. So <clears throat> that's a little unfortunate, but it happens quite often. All right, this one is going to be, oh, a Jason Dominguez. 
All right, let's see what we got here. This is a Jason Dominguez Chrome from Bowman Chrome Prospects. That's going to be a nine as well. Looks like the centering is a little off. I should have noticed that before I sent it in. It's pushed over to the left a little bit. This may have been the first one that I pulled, so I was just hoping that I could get a card in and get it graded. Um, you know, you always want to get uh, your cards graded as quickly as possible in this game. <clears throat> All right, this is a Zion Williamson rated rookie from Donruss Optic. That's going to be a mint nine as well. A mint nine, really? Man, I am bummed by that. Why? Why, oh why, oh why? Everything looks so sharp and clean. Like, I have no clue why this got a nine. Uh, I'm really bummed about that one. Man, I really wanted a ten on a Zion. I thought there was no way I couldn't get a 10 on it. I looked it over real cleanly and a uh, 9. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bummed right now. We've got a lot of 9s. Kyler Murray rated rookie. Let's get a 10 here, baby. Let's get a 10. That'd be nice. Another 9. Boy, look at all the dust. The surface doesn't look great. In the, is that inside the case once again? No, that's, part, that's the card. So the card has like some speckles in there on both sides where's my little microfiber well that's probably something I should have noticed as well before I sent it in but there is dust inside the case case as well I don't really like that PSA this is really subpar work little dust inside and maybe some speckles on the card as well not sure if that's dust on the card or what but not off to a good start all right this is going to be a blue border nolan arenado blue border is something i picked up i'm trying to get the entire rainbow of his rookie collection so let's check this out another nine wow this card looked really sharp as well and i thought really good chance at a 10 a lot of these have been graded so um, didn't really think I had much of a chance, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I thought I had a good chance, but I, I was kind of a 50-50 toss-up. Mint 9, that'll go into my personal collection, so I'm excited about that. All right, here's a Nolan Ryan autograph card. This is from Topps Heritage. It looks like there's some whitening in that corner already, so mm, hopefully we're, we're going to be at a 9. That would be nice. Yeah, we got a 9. Sweet. Certified autograph issue. This is going to be a blue ink autograph of 2020 Topps Heritage Real One Autographs. Blue ink. Love this card. Uh, really would have liked the 10 there. Uh, pulled this card out of a break with Dave Durango. If you don't know Dave Durango, great dude in the community. He hasn't been doing videos uh, for quite some time. But uh, before his retirement, I really liked watching Dave. So getting a 9 back there. Another Jason Dominguez. Let's see what this one is. This this can't be the paper, can it? Oh, this is a gold. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. This is the one card I really wanted to get a 10. Really wanted to get a 10. That's a Jason Dominguez gold paper. That's going to be 13 of 15. Check that out. I pulled this card out uh, about six months ago. Uh, maybe five months ago. It was like right when I got out of rehab. I was coming home and I found some Bowman packs at the store because I hadn't bought baseball cards in like a month and a half. So I said, hey, let's get some cards. And uh, this was in one of the fat packs that I, I bought there at Walmart. So Jason Dominguez, 2020 Bowman, Paper Prospects, Gold, 13 of 15. Can't wait to see what his jersey number is. Hopefully it's 13 of 15. That would be sweet. All right. Oh, oh put our 10 over here all right so two tens all right there we go now we're starting to get some traction on the 10 side all right next dub birds this is going to be a gavin lux from series one i believe this is the ssp it is and it's a nine dang it a nine on the gavin lux ssp a beautiful card but it came back at a psa nine Man, i was really hoping for a 10 on this one that is awesome. I was so excited when I pulled that card. Uh, 10 would have been nicer, but take what you can get. 
All right, what's our next one here? We're gonna have a Bobachet. I believe this is the Bobachet SP, because I remember sending in the SSP and the SP of Bobachet. It is. It's his white jersey. It's gonna be a nine as well. Oh, really? Check that top right corner. Might be a little soft. That's probably why right there. Yeah, it's got a little white on that that top right corner, and I think that's probably why it got a nine. Uh, man, a little bit of a bummer there, but still, uh, nines are better than eights. I'll take those any day of the week. Gavin Lux, Bobachet. Nines are selling for about the same as a raw, and so. If you get a 9 and you didn't sell it back when it was really hot, then you probably are actually losing money. Uh, that's just the reality of it. You're not making anything off of it, and you, you could have gotten more for it. All right, this is a Jordan Alvarez. This is going to be from 2018 Bowman Cron, another 9. <laughs> Bowman Chrome Jordan Alvarez prospect autographs. First Bowman card, on-card autograph of Jordan Alvarez, and that comes back a 9. I pulled this one out of a break. That break was on, uh, maybe that's a surface issue right there. Looks like dust inside the case once again to me. And there might be a little surface issue there too. So, Jordan Alvarez, I pulled this out of a break and uh, I was really excited about that because it was I wasn't really expecting much out of that break. You get the Astros, you're not all that pumped, but you know Jordan is a possibility, so. Okay, this is a Lou Gehrig SSP from Series 1, or Series 2. Lou Gehrig Fishing SSP, that comes back a 9 as well. Oh, man, I am just stacking the 9s right now. When I do a PSA submission and unboxing, it's just 10 after 10 after 10 after 10. Baseball, I am just getting hosed. Look at this. The card looks super crisp too, super sharp. Doesn't look like there's any reason that that should have gotten a 9. I'm going to be a little speechless for a second. A little bummed about that one. That one I definitely lost money on if it's a 9. The only way I was going to make money on this was if it's a 10. That's the only way. Alright, last card in the submission. This is going to be a basketball card it looks like Ja Morant all right Ja Morant this is his rookie card from Donruss Optic oh, another nine. Oh my goodness this is like the nine submission holy cow all basic I only got two tens out of the entire submission 2019 PSA or uh, Panini Donruss Optic Ja Morant PSA 9 once again, there looks like there's dust on it or something. <sighs> I have to get all these uh, sleeved up, sold off, mint nine. Well, hey, instead of focusing on the terrible nines that we got, let's focus on the two beautiful tens that we got. The Mike Trout 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen and the Jason Dominguez 2020 Bowman. Numbered to 50. Both beautiful cards. This one's probably definitely the most expensive one in the entire submission, Jason Dominguez. This one probably sells for close to $1,000, somewhere around there. So, very happy that I got this one back. Nice Mike Trout right there. Gypsy Queen. I'll have to go and check all the prices on these and see what we're going to be at, but I'll have to uh, throw a lot of these cards, or most of these cards, on eBay, and uh, whatever ones I'm keeping, I'll put in my personal submission. So look at that. 17 card, baseball and basketball, and some football submission, and I only got two 10s. My stack of 9s compared to the 10s is huge. So, hey, what can you do? We'll take solace in the fact that we got those 10s. That's going to do it for this opening. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get some more PSA submissions back. I had 8 in. This was 1 coming back, so that's 7 in, and then I sent 2 out, so that'll be 9. So, I have 9 submissions into PSA. So over the next six months, eight months, we'll be slowly trickling back in a few PSA submissions, maybe one a month, and we'll be able to uh, uh, open those here on the channel for you guys live. Several of them are bulk submissions, like 150 cards. Uh, so you got, I got quite a few big submissions on there. But 
Anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks so much. Once again, like and subscribe to the video if you like this kind of content. If you want to see more of it coming up in the future, just let me know in the comment section what you want to see. Appreciate y'all. Peace out.